Today we are in a small coastal town of Albir and the home we are about to tour is all about quality. Let's go and get started. Hi, what's up everybody? This is Victoria again. Welcome to another episode on my channel. Today we are in Albir, a small coastal town in Costa Blanca. And we're about to tour this incredible villa right behind me, which is set on a plot of 780 square meters with an internal build of 400 square meters, four bedrooms, seven bathrooms, and currently on the market for just under 2 million euros. Entering from the street level, we find ourselves in this internal courtyard leading us to the main entrance right in front of the gate. But before we get inside, let's just take a moment to appreciate the exterior of this brand new house. The first thing I noticed which makes this property unique in my eyes is this large 100 by 100 ceramic flooring that we've got going on throughout the whole of the house and the outdoor area. There's also a lot to talk about when it comes to the entrance of the house. Let's just take a moment to notice these natural stones we've got laid out on this wall over here which leads us to the entrance of the house. But before we speak about that, let's just look up at these lovely wooden panels above my head, giving this house this Ibiza style. Right, and that brought us to the main beautiful part of this entrance, which is this pivoting door. Let alone this door is a wow factor in this entrance, but not only that, we also have this feature here where we can open the whole of the glass and have even more of an air floor going on. Now I would like to take everybody into the swimming pool area where we still got the last bits of sun. So here we find ourselves in the main entertainment area. Firstly, we are under this lovely roof with the nice wooden beam panels above my head. Again, this kind of Ibiza rustic styles. Even those chandeliers over here add on to this style. Right behind me, we have the large 40, 45 square meters heated and cooled swimming pool. You can control all of the water from your smartphone. You can also do the filtration of the swimming pool. Another lovely feature over here, the palm tree right in the middle of this design. Here we've got plenty of empty space for the buyer to customize and add their own furniture. In the night, this outdoor area will look even more incredible. So we'll make sure to add on those night shots for you guys. Right, from here we'll be stepping into the inside of the house. Follow me into this beautiful, super stylish architecture design of a kitchen combined with the living room area. This kitchen has been customized and it's designed by Dika. We've got the large one tile ceramic tops, plenty of storage space. I mean, just let's look at this oven. As you can see, it's totally brand new and never been used because it's not even unpacked yet. And on the left side, the same ceramic style countertop. All the storage on the other side. We've got a fridge and freezer. Lovely wooden door. This really smells nice of wood. Microwave over here. Here we've got two barters. From here, you could be having your morning breakfast or an informal dinner. And over this island, we've got Reese's lighting and the LED strip lighting up the kitchen. From here, we are stepping into the dining area and a nice feature on the wall, a wine storage. With this proper glass doors, they're really heavy. Natural stone wall behind. I don't want to be dropping any of that wine because it will be going into these white floors. 
think this is a really stylish. From here we also have the dining area with eight chairs all around and a lovely chandelier hanging above. Again, all this Ibiza rustic style. From here we are connected into the living area where we've got an electric fireplace at the moment it's still not working as it's just been installed and the sandcastle sofa right in the middle again we've got the natural stone in front of the sofa and plenty of storage here i think this would be a great place to put all your books or maybe some plants from here let's step into the main entrance area from where we entered and started the store here we've got the main entrance door and here this wooden table right in the middle lovely decor plenty of plants and flowers from here we've got the filomoro doors with hidden hinges and frames so we don't actually see that these are actually two doors the bathroom oak flooring going on in this bathroom as well as in all the bedrooms of this house so that's connecting us to the second door let's see what's behind it here we've actually got two bedrooms the first one on my right again this rustic style minimalistic design plenty of storage in front again automatic lights as everywhere in this house and of course an amazing bathroom we've got the walk-in shower in here the floating vanity and certainly my favorite thing in this bathroom is this mirror so that is it for the first bedroom now let's just step into the second bedroom which is connected plenty of storage here pretty much the same design led lighting behind the bed We've got the windows going into the internal yard and the ensuite bathroom here. A little bit of a different, longer layout, but also very nice. And now that brings us to the third and main bedroom. But before we enter, let's just take a moment to notice this Fire Max system. From here, we can control everything and i mean everything starting from the alarms from the electricity from the pipes you can of course see the cameras from your phone and from this device over here stepping into the main bedroom here on my left side we've got a walking wardrobe plenty of storage space and of course nicely lit with the led strip on the bottom and stepping into the main area of the bedroom plenty of space this bedroom is double the size of the other ones we've just seen here we've got a corner windows which open up to the outside area actually it all opens up to the full which gives you this great airflow and i don't know if you can see from here but the view is actually on the mountain so from your bed you'd be looking at the top of the mountain and these are pretty cool mountains we've got here in Albir. But of course, this wouldn't be a perfect bedroom without this incredible bathroom. For those who know me or who's already been following my channel for a while, know that my favorite thing in the bath is an actual bath itself. And here we've got a freestanding one right in the middle next to this wall with a space which is purposely made to put in a glass of wine or a book or whatever you wish there is a special shelf for that here we've got a very large cabinetry with a floating design and the two ball sinks over here a walk-in shower and with this one piece ceramic tiles throughout the hall of this bathroom this helps keep the maintenance and the cleanliness of the bathroom again another hidden door leading us to the separated toilet and a bidet this is a surprise i haven't seen many of those in spain this is more of an italian thing i think right that leads us to the end of the main bedroom certainly my favorite and i think it's super cozy and cute but let's make our way to the last fourth bedroom in this house all right and another hidden door 
leading us to the last bedroom. Again, the LED backlit bed, the window going to the side of the property, this time with, again, green views. And of course, a sweet bathroom. Wow, this time we've even got a larger mirror than usual. Let's just leave this mirror on. And the rest is like in the other bathrooms, the walk-in shower, the floating cabinetry and the vanity unit. Now that brings us to the end of the bedrooms in this floor. And now I would like to take you guys to the upper side of the house where we've got the solarium and plenty of space to be customized. You can have your gym and much more, but what am I going to be saying right here? Let's go and check it out for yourself. All right, from here is where we'll be going up to see the solarium. As you can see, we have the trees planted throughout the whole length of the garden to have a complete privacy. And I arrived at the rooftop. This is where it gets interesting because from this floor, we've got incredible mountain views. We are located in a residential area of Albir. We are just 10 minutes away from the seafront, but at the same time in a very residential, nice, low profile area. So this place is totally customizable. At the moment, as you can see, we don't really have anything here except a couple of plants all around and these solar panels, which are hidden right over here. We've got all the solar panels. So if you don't like overpaying for electricity, it's definitely something for you. And as well as downstairs in the entrance and the swimming pool area, we have the wooden beams right above me and this Ibiza style chandelier. So here it could be like a chilling area, which is totally covered and over here, could be your gym. Today the sun has already gone behind the mountains and now we will spend probably an hour or so waiting to see how this house looks in the ambient night light. And here we come to the end of the tour for today. Finishing up in this amazing terrace with the sunset right in front of me and the beautiful mountains right behind. If you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Let me know in the comments below what you thought about this house and I will be seeing you very shortly in the next upcoming episode and the beautiful house we've got prepared for you next. Take care. <laughs>